hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking whether these series are absolutely convergent conditionally convergent or divergent so first question we have to ask is whether this series is absolutely convergent to do that what we do we take the absolute value of this one and see whether it is converging so here we are going to have 10 power n over n factorial and whenever you see factorial so here we can use two kinds of test one is root test and ratio test so whenever you see a factorial values ratio test is best so what this ratio test is we take the limit right limit n approaches infinity and we add one more to the n whatever the n value we have so here we have 10 power n so wherever we have n we just add one so here what we are going to do we just add 10 power n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial so we added 1 to all the n values right then what we do we divide by this original function so it's so when it, I have to divide this one by 10 power n over n factorial that is same as multiplying this one by n factorial over 10 power n because when you divide this is going to flip around and go to the top so instead of doing that we can write like this right and let's go ahead and see whether this is absolutely convergent so to satisfy absolutely convergent what have what we have to get it get is uh, we have to get a value that's less than one if it's less than one it's absolutely convergent if it's equal to one no conclusion if it's greater than one it is divergent right so that's so those are the conclusion here so when we, if we find something divergent in the first test we have to then go ahead and ask whether it is conditionally convergent so first let's see whether it's absolutely convergent so let's see whether we get value that's less than one right so let's solve this one first and see what we get so here if you solve this one you're going to get so here we have 10 power n right 10 power n is same as 10 power n multiplied by 10 i mean 10 power n plus 1 is same as 10 power n multiplied by 10 power 1 right so we can cancel this 10 power n 10 power n we have, we have 10 power 1 that is remaining so that's going to be remaining right here and n plus 1 so factorial is basically mean so this is going to reduce like this limit then approaches infinity so here we have 10 power 1 left and factorial is going to expand like this n plus 1 then n and then so it's going to go like this n minus 1 n minus 2 until it reaches like 2 1 and it end like this right so here but we are going to have something like that that pattern so what we can do is after this n factorial everything else is going to be same as this n factorial so it's reduced like this but after n factorial everything else is going to be same because this is also going to reduce like n minus 1 n minus 2 so what we can do is we can cancel these two and the remaining thing is 10 over n plus 1 so limit n approaches infinity 10 over n plus 1 and if you take the limit of this one we know that 10 over infinity if, if we substitute this infinity right here this is going to be 10 over infinity that's going to be 0 right and we know that 0 is less than 1 so if we have less than 1 this is absolutely convergent so we don't have to do anything else if we find absolutely convergent that is going to be it but for example if we don't get absolutely absolutely convergent and if we get equal to 0 equal to 1 then we have to go ahead and ask whether this is converse, conditional convergent or if we get divergent we have to ask whether it is conditional convergent so that's the way to approach this question so we can go ahead and say this series is if this one is absolutely convergent this is also absolutely convergent so absolutely convergent 
without absolute value right so let's go ahead and do the second question second question we have sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity negative 1 power n plus 1 over 4 square root of n and you can you may already notice this is an alternative series but here the question is asking to find absolutely convergent right so we don't do the alternative alternating test right away so when they ask for absolutely convergent we take the absolute value and check whether it is convergent so here if you take absolute value we are going to have 1 over sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 over 4 n right because negative 1 power anything is going to be positive 1 or negative 1 but here if you take absolute value this is definitely going to be a positive value so that's why we have positive 1 on top and then denominator we have n square I mean fourth root of n so this is same as n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 over n power 1 over 4 right if you have fourth root that means 1 over 4 and from this one we can already see this is a p series because we have n power a number if you have n power number that's p series if you have number power n that's geometric series so here we have n power a number this is a p series and this value is less than 1 so this is def definitely a divergent p series so we have checked whether it is absolutely convergent the answer is no this is not absolutely convergent divergent p series the second question we had to ask is whether this is conditionally convergent so conditionally convergent we have to check so we can now go ahead and check alternating series test so alternating series test what we do we take the bn value bn value is basically everything except this negative one part so this is going to be the bn value so here we are going to have one over four fourth root of n so this is fourth root so it's better to write in clearly to avoid confusion so this is fourth root right so let's go ahead and see whether it is alternating what this alternating series series is convergent right to find or to find an alternating series to be convergent what we have to do is we have to take the limit of that one and see whether it is zero so it has to satisfy two conditions in order to be convergent first the limit has to be equal to zero and it has to be a decreasing function so here if you take this bn so we know that bn is going to be 1 over n power 1 over 4 it's same as fourth root of n so here as this if you take the limit of this one let's see what happens limit n approaches infinity we have 1 over n power 1 over 4 so if this is infinity this is definitely going to be 0 so it passes one of the test and let's see whether it is decreasing to find this one decreasing what we can do we can put uh, some values like for example so if it's fourth root of n fourth, 1 over fourth root of n then we can go ahead and put 1 over 1 over fourth root of n plus 1 right this denominator is going to be definitely bigger than this one so this value is smaller than this value so we know that as the n value as we add one more to the n this value is decreasing so as it goes from 1 to infinity this is definitely decreasing so we, we know that this is going to be a decreasing decreasing series so this is decreasing and the limit of bn is 0 so if this passes these two tests, we can go ahead and see, say this is a convergent alternative series. So here we can say this is a convergent. So actually, so in the beginning we found out this is divergent series, but here the question is not the alternative series. Here the question is, this is absolutely convergent, conditionally convergent or divergent. So first of all, it's a divergent, 
and when we do the alternating series test it's a conversion so this is not absolutely conversion this is conditionally conversion right so we can go ahead and say this is a conditionally conversion series Con conditionally conversion and that's how we do these kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time